Wednesday, and I'm going to be reading my poem entitled Werewolf. A man stands under the open sky, watching as the day turns slowly to night. Around him, the shadows spread slowly across the ground, the moon throwing its silver light across them. In the distance, a call is heard, and the man pushes down the urge to call back. Made restless, he looks again at the sky and wonders how long it will take the silver light of the moon to shine through the night and reach him. Every month, the moon comes for him like the shadows now creeping around him. Like the shadow that constantly follows him, calls to him to stand alone under the bright light of the moon. Now, though, before it has risen, the sky seems almost empty. Then he looks up into the night and sees the other silver, the smaller, less noticeable silver of the stars. These cast no shadows, shining more gently through the night, and, instead of calling, merely watching. Of all the beings in the sky, the man wishes for the stars, and is given the moon. And now over the trees, the moon comes with its rays of silver, cutting through the night sky and dispelling all shadows from the face from the darkened face of the earth. It calls to him to enter fully into a being of the night. This is where he truly belongs, in this night, and under the bright light of the full moon. Now he is the one who calls, and beckons others to join him under the starry silver dome which arcs over the earth. No longer is he bothered by the shadow which haunts the man daily. Now, under the night sky, the wolf is free. Around him, the night is illuminated by the silver light of the moon that, casts and, that both casts and dispels shadows. Listen, and you will hear the wolf calling to its companions under the open sky.